The big lights of New York City shine bright as postseason basketball is back in the Big Apple. Tonight, in the midst of the best season in program history, the Columbia Lions host the first round of the WNIT against the Patriot League regular season champion, Holy Cross Crusaders. From Toyota Stadium, the home of FC Dallas in Frisco, Texas, welcome back to Championship Weekend at the MLS Next Cup. Daniel Pinter having one. Santiago, oh, Santiago Morales! Santi, que golazo, que golazo! Kiss the crest! Awoma driving on Forbes, right to the rim, Princeton leads! Farinacci, shot at a save, read, rebound, score! Farinacci, 1 0 Crimson! Only two teams can end the season on a win. Let's be one of them. Here's Shu for the record, and she has it! The most threes in one season in Ivy League history. Step up, get up the field a little bit. Crosses the line, and we are level! David Vasquez with the equalizer! A, 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 A! He's gone over 100 a couple times this year. That's well hit to right. Larry looks up, and that ball is gone. Gavin Cross launches his ninth home run of the season, and it's 1-0 Virginia Tech in the seventh. This is McLean. Spinning and shooting, he scores! 1-2 to Hurley. Strike three. Mancini strikes out the side in the fourth. He has six so far and has not allowed a hit. Headed. And Victor Fong with the breakthrough for Miami. Dakota driving inside. Luca with the left. 2-2 to Capel is swung on, hit in the air, deep right field. Sanchez back, it is gone. Here's a three for Freiburg, and he puts Princeton back ahead. And with a comeback for the ages, Philadelphia Union are U-17 MLS Next Cup champions. We uh, decided to pack the booth for this one. It is me, it's Justin Galanti, Jamie Watson, Rodney Wallace. We're gonna have a good time with this one. Sean St. Jock is down on the sideline. And uh, guys, this is what happened, right? Uh, these two were too far apart from each other. And they said, can we sit next to each other for this one? And that's what we're doing. Justin Galanti, Frank Matero, glad to be with you. And Frank, before the game, we were talking about what the keys would be today. And you thought it would be Yale's three-point shooting against Monmouth's interior presence. Yale's had some good looks that haven't fallen yet, but I think reason for optimism is some open looks from behind the arc. For now, we are uh, extremely pleased to welcome in Noah Beck. And, you know, we, we said we were going to be doing this about 25 minutes ago, and I tried to introduce you, and then everybody in the chat says he doesn't need an introduction. This has been an awesome week for us. What's it been like for you watching this, and what does it mean for the league? No, I mean, it's, it's good. I think it's a great source for, for people to come through and, and check out the town and upcoming town that's coming through. Um, you know, for me, it's like memories and flashbacks. Jalen Llewellyn is at the line for Princeton. Their leading scorer, he has 14 today. Averages about 15 on the season. The second free throw he's missed today. 78% at the line. There you Look at Mitch Anderson looking to win his second regular season Ivy League title as a coach. He did it three times as a player in the black and orange, but two big free throw misses for Llewellyn. These are one on layups and foul shots. Those are things that matter, matter a lot. And Llewellyn, as you mentioned, just a shade under 80%, but missed both so badly that time. It's Lesman Nelson catching Forbes and Sakota on the court here for the Crimson. Princeton led at the half by two. Lead by one right now. Catchings a long three for the lead. It's money. <laughs> 11 points for Catchings after a career high 19 Friday night. Just continuing to step up when this team needs him throughout the back end of this season. It's been the story of the year for the Crimson. 
Llewellyn skips it into the corner. Three for Alaco. Back and forth we go. I think this one's playing out pretty much how we thought it was going to be. We expected a tight ball game back and forth, and these teams delivering here in the second half. Lesman working on Alaco. Nelson with 12 today, Kirkwood with 12, catching's 11. Sakota for three, he's fouled, and one. We might have a review coming here. One of the officials on our near side, they're gonna be looking to see whether or not that leg kicked out from Sakota to try and draw that foul. As we all know that's a no-no. Yeah, they are gonna check this out as that is a point of emphasis. And we will see. If Dakota gets called for kicking his leg out or if it's a three-pointer and one. But we should give the big story at the moment as we peer over to the Harvard bench. You might be wondering why Crimson leading scorer Noah Kirkwood is not in the game right now. He is sitting on the Harvard bench with a significant wrap on his left ankle. You're seeing exactly what the officials are right now, though. And Matt, needless to say, this is the biggest call of the game. You can watch his leg, his right leg will come out a little bit, but contact's there before the leg's coming through. At least that would be my two cents on it, but that's why I don't wear a striped shirt and I sit over here. His right leg definitely finishes coming out, but the contact coming through, he's in the rise up right there, past the gather. You can see trying to avoid the contact with Langborg, but it goes right through him. There's definitely contact on his hip as he's going up into the shot. So if you call that there and then Leg goes forward at the end, but I think that's just him trying to come down. Should be a good basket, and indeed, that's indeed what we're being shown right now. So a three-point field goal, good there with a chance to try and make it four for Sakota. Tim Kelly, John Gaffney, and Michael Lucky coming to that decision. And now a chance for a four-point play for Sakota to give Harvard a three-point lead. Largest lead of the game for the Crimson is five. Princeton has led by as many as eight. Dakota 82% cashes in. Three point lead, 5.15 to go. Harvard looking to keep its Ivy League tournament hopes alive. Tosana Woma posting up catchings. Three for Freiburg, around and out. Catchings, Lesman to triple. Maybe a little adrenaline there from the rookie Lesman. Nice job by Awoma to get back up. He was tangled with the catchings at the other end, was down to the deck and hustled back into the play. Langborg ties the game. I mean, what else can you say about this Princeton team from distance? Seven for 12 here in the second half. They're up to 10 to 24 overall in the basketball game. Made 14 in the win against Harvard Friday. Sakota driving inside. Luca with the left. Saw the challenge coming there from Awoma, recognized it, switched over to the left hand, maybe got a little bit of an arm bar on the way by, but got to let that contact slide, especially in the game with the stakes as they are. Neither team even close to the bonus right now. Only five total fouls called in this second half. Awoma with 16 points and eight boards today. Great pass for Llewellyn. Movement without the basketball is key. Nice look from Awoma that time. He's been quiet assist-wise there, but you can see why he averages nearly five per game. He's up to three now, but a beautiful feed. One of the best scorers and passers in the Ivy League, Tosan Awoma. Nelson. 12 to shoot. Every possession so important down the stretch. Sakota. With the left again, no. Forbes puts it home. Eight points and seven boards for Mason Forbes. Everybody stepping up with Kirkwood on the bench with his ankle wrapped. Freiburg. Nobody in foul trouble in this game. Here's a three for Freiburg, and he puts Princeton back ahead. Timeout, Mitch Henderson. 2.54 to go, and we just continue to battle back and forth. Princeton, a one-point lead over the Crimson.